error uh, for the inevitable clash. This is a final match, so I can imagine neither of them are in any hurry to overextend themselves. And uh, we are seeing finally what uh, what Dalai Lama is planning to do. He has the melee and armor and the adrenal glands and an ultralisk cavern. So he is preparing for the strongest mech counter available to Zerg, which is ultralisks and speedlings. I guess cracklings is what they're called when they have the adrenal glands. So uh, we could have a pretty exciting finish there if he's able to get those ultralisks up in time. Uh, if, however, siege tanks end up on that doorstep too early, uh, he won't have what it takes to deal with that. Uh, still producing tons of lings, massing them. They are going to be detected as well as this additional hatchery. But it looks like the ultralisk den was hidden. Even I can't find it. There it is. I'll see if that was detected. Check his vision real quick. No, he did not. So uh, no indication ultralisks are on the way. And nonetheless, uh, Hash is moving out. He does have a substantially larger army, so things not looking very good at all for Dalai Lamer. If Hash presses in, he has those siege tanks and a nice tight uh, choke point. You see he's hurriedly trying to take down this wall for flanking, so Dalai Lamer very, very nervous right now, and he, he, he should be. He's in a very, very bad position. Siege tanks are exposed, but they have tons and tons of reinforcing mech, tons of Hellions, Marauders, and those few Thors. But uh, the wall finally is down, so the Terran forces can be flanked by that mass of wings. Uh, no pre-igniter on the Hellions, so the, there is at least that going for Dalai Lamer, and he is continuing just to mass those lings, just uh, holding on. He is counterattacking, however, catches his reinforcing uh, siege tanks, able to do tons of damage. The Hellions get here just in time, and uh, they are able to just roast all of those lings. But uh, the Roaches find the Hellions. The Hellions are killed, and looks like... Uh, Dalai Lamer is going to make it into his opponent's base, which is undefended. And uh, a counter push happening from Hash. Looks like we might have a base race on our hands. Tons of forces here that Hash has completely forgotten about. He could deploy those, but it's too late. The uh, Roaches are inside, chasing away these SCVs. They will be able to wall off temporarily and hold back the Roach push. Terran push, Mumal going very, very well, catching tons of drones. And yeah, he is advancing steadily into the expansion of Dalai Lamer. Do we have Ultralisks yet? We do have three being produced from the, uh, I think it's this main here. I'm wrong, it's here on the expansion, I can hear them, they did however die, and uh, it's hard to tell who's going to win here, uh, look at the turn, did hold off this attack, able to kill off all this expansion, but he is coming back in retreat with these roaches, because uh, the marauders finally came from this expansion, drove those roaches back, and it looks like Hash might be taking this game, uh, three ultralisks and four zerglings coming out for the zerg player, but he is contained in his base. Uh, Income-wise, we are 52 Terran SCVs to 42 drones, only one base for the Terran player, and the mech is moving up the ramp. Uh, Going to take out these uh, tech buildings quite easily. The Zerg player not ready to press back. He does have those Ultralisks. Those are his saving grace, but he's waiting for three more to come out. Then I think he'll be ready to make his push. The uh, Roaches here not able to burrow because there is a Raven nearby, and he is pressing with those Ultralisks and the Zerglings and the Roaches. The Ultralisks are going to get around, and they are going to engage those siege tanks in point-blank range, just what he needs to do, and the Terran mech just evaporates in that Ultralisk Zergling push. Very, very nice job by Lamer, but he needs to press out now and uh, cripple the Terran before he counterattacks. He is picking up his expansion over again. Good for him. Also grabbing uh, this corner uh, position in addition to his own. Uh, so he's expanding nicely, but uh, he should not give the Terran time to uh, reconstruct. He does have those Ultralisks, and like I said, that is the best counter to Terran mech in existence. They just rip apart uh, at 44 damage versus armored. Unbelievable. And uh, he's going to find these... Uh, these Marauders pretty soon. Those are not going to last more than a few seconds. The 1-1 uh, one, one Ultralisks do engage, catch those Marauders. Marauders are just like paper, cut to shreds, and those siege tanks are too late to deploy. The Terran army is certainly going to be absolutely annihilated here. Uh, the Ultralisks completely untouchable at this point in time. Not enough Marauders to fire at them, and uh, Lamer is going to move into this expansion. The Roaches uh, in support, and tons of reinforcements streaming in. Looks like just Lings and Overlords. That's what he needs. Overlords coming in. And I think he might actually be stopped. No, the Supply Depot wall just falls immediately to those over, uh, Ultralisks. They close in on the last of the, the Siege Tanks. The SCV is going to get slaughtered by Ultralisks as well. And uh, that's going to be it. Hash is eliminated from this series. No way he can catch up now. Very, very nice job of Dalai Lamer to hold on to the last second, get enough Ultralisks for that push, and cripple his opponent's army. That run by uh, early on also with the Lings and the Roaches really paid off, forcing his opponent to uh, go for a base trade scenario. And the Ultralisks did trump Terran Mech. Very, very nice play by Dalai Lamer. And uh, Hash will unfortunately be eliminated. So uh, he beat Machine, but could not beat this new guy. So we have a, a new favorite in this tournament. Dalai Lamer has upset uh, his opponent and is certainly looking very, very strong. And uh, definitely keep tuning in on IC Cup TV. 
lots more games coming against a lot of pro players, uh, provided the uh, replays are kind to us. And uh, do follow the tournament's progress on TeamLiquid.net and check out those sponsors. They are what makes this possible. And until next time, have a good one.